friends, it's me, Miss Erin, from C.C. Meller Memorial Library, here for another family story time. It's starting to get a little bit chillier at my house. And I thought, as we're thinking about summer turning into fall, we could think about the sounds that we hear from different seasons. So we've got some books about seasons and sounds to read today. Are we ready to get started? Let's sing our hello song. Let's sing, hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Let's do it again, hello, hello, hello and how are you i'm fine i'm fine and i hope that you are too now everybody clap your hands clap your hands clap your hands now everybody clap your hands come on and clap your hands hello 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 and how are you i'm fine i'm fine and i hope that you are too yay all right our first book today is called summer song by kevin hankus and illustrated by Laura Dronzik. Let's see what happens in Summer Song. Ooh, I see some bugs and some flowers. The summer sun is like a giant flower and the flowers are like little suns little suns of all different colors. But if I had to pick one color, I'd say summer is purple. Is that purple? No, summer is green. Green on green on green on green. Summer is a green song. A song of leaves and trees and weeds and grass, lots of grass. If there is tall grass in a field and the wind blows, it sounds like music. So do the air conditioners and the fans and the sprinklers. <laughs> and the lawn mowers. Most of the time, birds are part of the song in the air, in the sky, and sometimes rain and thunder are too. Do you see the birds in this picture? I see them hiding in the bush. If you lie in the grass and you're quiet and patient and lucky, you might hear a bug song, whirring and buzzing and humming. Mm. Are there bees? Yes. Grasshoppers? Yes. Crickets? Yes. Dragonflies? Yes. And 
and silent butterflies too. All kinds of birds in the song, or not birds, bugs in the song. And at night, are there fireflies? What do you think? Sometimes. There's one, and another one, and another one, and another one. They're singing to each other without a sound. When there is fog in the early morning, summer is a gray song. It's hard to see in the fog. When you go to the beach or a lake, summer is a blue song. And when the sky is blue too. But the green song is still there. If you slow down and think about it, you can feel the summer song. It's warm and then hot and then hotter. Whew. In the shade, it can be cool. Or when you play with the hose. But when the days become shorter and the nights come earlier, the song changes. Summer gets bored and wants to try something new, something different. The song is turning, turning, turning. It's turning into fall. That's what's happening right now. The days become shorter and the nights come earlier and something new and different is happening. It's turned into fall. Look at that. Do you see the leaves coming down? That was a good story. But now that we're thinking about fall, I have a song about leaves. Now another word for fall, the season, is autumn. So we have a song about autumn leaves. Autumn leaves are falling down, falling down, falling down. Autumn leaves are falling down all around the town. Do you want to be the wind and blow them around? Let's blow. Yeah, the wind will blow them round and round, round and round, round and round. Wind will blow them round and round, all around the town. As they fall, they drift gently to the ground. Let's sing that part. They're drifting gently to the ground, to the ground, to the ground. Drifting gently to the ground, all around the town. Oh my goodness, there's so many leaves around here. How do you think I can clean them up? Should we try using a rake? Take a rake and rake them up, rake them up, rake them up. Take a rake and rake them up all around the town. Good work. All right, let's try another story. This is another story about sounds that we hear in our houses and our neighborhoods and at home and outside. 
This book is called What Sound is Morning? And it's by Grant Snyder. Let's see if we can figure it out. What sound is morning? In the first morning light, all is quiet. Or is it? Let's find out. Listen. Oh, I see a bird. I wonder if the bird is singing. What sound is morning? Is there an alarm clock at your house? Does that make a sound? Ours goes beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Lights click on, click. A cat softly creeps. Oh, I see a kitty. Meow. A baby babbles. Wind whispers in leaves. <gasps> sprinklers hiss on summer lawns. There was a sprinkler in our last book too. A rooster crows to greet the dawn. The silent sun rises. The world wakes up. Here comes the sun. A man shouts after a zooming off bus. Hey, wait for me! Cars and trucks grumble on their way to the city. Stomachs rumble as they pass the bakery. Mm, those look good, don't they? Ooh. An old dog yawns, <sighs> awake from dreams. Frogs croak and splash in a murmuring stream. Ribbit, ribbit, croak, croak. A shower trickles, a mirror squeaks. A garbage truck clanks down a quiet street. Oh, I'll bet a garbage truck makes a lot of noise. Do they make a lot of noise at your house? Breakfast sizzles. Hopeful paws tap the floor. Oh. In an open field, balloons rise and roar. There's a fire to help them fill with air. Today is a melody still to be written. Today is a tune no one's heard before. So 
So greet the new day with a stretch <sighs> and a yawn. Throw open the window and fill the world with your song. That's the end. Turns out there were a lot of sounds in this morning, weren't there? Birds chirping and cars driving by and breakfast cooking and people moving and animals, lots and lots of noises. That's neat. Today you'll have to listen to see what you can hear at your house and in your yard and let me know. Thanks for coming to story time with me. Let's sing one more song together. Our goodbye song goes, skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. I love you. Skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. I love you. Yay! Thank you for coming to Storytime, friends. I'll see you back here next week. Bye!